faith-filled. People loving. Generous. Amazing. Selfless. Loving. Meeting with Mary Ann anytime is a delight. But the day that I spoke to her on behalf of Magnificat and our Alumni Association about her accepting the Alumni Award of Excellence, I must say she was completely taken by surprise. Her first words were, I'm not worthy of this. And yet, as we all know, Mary Ann is most deserving. To me, Mary Ann embodies that recognition that she is very blessed, and through her life, she shares those blessings. If you think about the words of the Magnificat, where it talks about your soul magnifying the Lord, to me, my mom is that magnifying the Lord. I mean, everything she does is um, with God in mind. She has faith, and uh, an immense amount of faith, and uh, to the point that I don't, I've never seen Marianne hesitate about anything. She has faith in her family, faith in her friends and, and um, you know, just faith that, you know, God will get her through the, the worst things. She's an ambassador for whatever she believes in. And because people see that in her, they become supporters of that program, that ideal, that philosophy as well. And I think this contributes to what Magnificat wants when they name somebody for this award. Someone who will carry on that tradition for others into the future. I think she's always been really big on, on donating and modeling for us, not necessarily an activity, but, you know, various charities and, you know, she always makes that obvious to us and encourages us to, to do the same. I think her giving goes even beyond organized um, situations. She just was the first person to make the phone call if somebody lost a family member, if somebody faced an illness, if somebody had a child who was in trouble. Marianne was the first one to pick up the phone and say, what can I do and be there immediately? So that is where I truly saw her shine in her giving spirit. Fathers White and Lewis, who really started the program, gave her a lot of credit for bringing it to maturation to the point where people sought out the program and made it what it is today in terms of people who interact with people. Uh, and develop their religious beliefs as part of SPA. It was clear that she felt this was a ministry, a call, a way to serve, a way to live out her, her own Magnificat. She, she had experienced spirituality at a critical time in her life and, and it had really helped her and she then wanted to turn around and share that. She embraced it as a ministry. Every answering of the phone, every connection she made with people by via phone, email, personal contact. She attended to that person fully. Anyone who came into contact with her through that program, whether it was Ignatius faculty, students, uh, parents, you know, they all thought so highly of her. It's just another testament of, to what, you know, what she does and how selfless she is to give back to others in the community. She tells us every Christmas that she doesn't want any gifts. And so I think the thing that she would most want of us is to know that we use the faith that she gave us and put it towards some good or, you know, something that, you know, we live our lives well and carry on what she thought was important in her life, her faith. I know one motto that we've all recognized with my mom is the phrase, all is gift. She signs all of her emails with that phrase, all is gift. And I think we all agree that that's so fitting because she is such a gift to us, to our family and to the community. Mary Ann, always you remind us, all is a gift. I'd like to remind you, you are a gift. I'd like to thank my husband, Dan, and my children, Kathy, Megan, Colleen, Tim, and Dan, for all of your supportive love. I'd like to also thank my other relatives and my friends who are here this evening for your inspiration and for allowing me to physically feel God through you. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, I'd like to thank the Sisters of the Humility of Mary for establishing the Magnificat experience. I'd also like to thank the entire Magnificat community, those who are here this evening and those who are unable to be here this evening, 
for making the world more God-centered. I am truly humbled, grateful, and very happy to receive the Alumni Award of Excellence.